Hello followers, in today's video I will show you how to use the autopilot pitch modes for the Boeing 737 engines. So I'll be focused on this area of the mode control panel along this video. I will simulate different situations with the ATC to see how to comply with their instructions. Currently I'm flying the initial climb following the departure procedure. We are crossing 7,500 climbing to the initial ATC assigned altitude, which is 14,000 feet. ATC has instructed me to hold the current altitude for traffic conflict. To obey this instruction, I simply select altitude hold. Altitude hold on my FMA checked. Now the traffic conflict is being solved, ATC has instructed me to continue to climb to 14,000 feet. To obey this instruction, I simply go back to my original climb mode, which is VNAV. I select VNAV, N1, VNAV speed on my FMA checked. Let's see now another situation. Currently I'm flying the climb following the VNAV mode. ATC has instructed me to reduce the climb rate to 1000 feet per minute for spacing. To obey this instruction, first I will select the vertical speed mode. The green light bar illuminates to confirm the selection and the vertical speed displays the current rate of climb as you can see here, which is 3300 feet per minute. Using the thumb wheel, I decrease the climb rate to 1000 feet per minute as instructed by the ATC. To confirm my mode selections, I glance at my FMA as you can see here, V slash S for vertical speed, checked, and the rate of climb bug set to 1000, checked. ATC now has instructed me to delete the climb restrictions and resume the normal climb. To do so, I simply go back to my normal climb mode, which is VNAV, and select it. VNAV green light bar on, VNAV speed and N1 annunciations on my FMA checked. Let's see another scenario. Currently, I'm flying level off at 14,000 feet. My current pitch mode is VNAV. My FMA shows VNAV ALT. This means that my FMC has commanded the autopilot to level off at the altitude selected on the MCP. ATC has instructed me to climb to flight level 210. To obey this instruction, first I will use the altitude knob to set 21,000 feet on the altitude display. Now, since I'm flying the VNAV pitch mode, which is managed by the FMC, I have to tell the FMC to climb to the new selected altitude. And the easiest way to do so is to press the altitude intervention button. This will engage the VNAV climb mode, which is confirmed by both VNAV speed and N1 annunciations on my FMA, with a positive rate of climb, as you can see here. Let's see now another situation. Sometimes our vertical navigation has a number of altitude constraints along the climb, as you can see here in my CDU legs page. And by the way, the constraints are always displayed in large fonts, as you can see here. Here I got three altitude constraints. As long as I'm flying the VNAV pitch mode, the autopilot will follow the vertical profile, including these altitude restrictions. Now, ATC has instructed me to cancel the altitude restriction and climb to flight level 350. First, I will select 35,000 feet in the altitude display. Now, to tell the FMC to climb directly to the flight level 350, I have to delete these altitude constraints. In this moment, I got three altitude constraints. Now, if I want to use the altitude intervention button to delete them, 
I need to press this button three times since it can delete only one altitude constraint at a time. You may immediately notice that this method is uh, time consuming. Therefore, there is actually another easier way by using the level change pitch mode. So I will select it now. The green light bar illuminates to confirm the selection. MCP speed and N1 on my FMA checked. Now this mode will bypass these altitude constraints allowing a direct climb to the target altitude which is for instance flight level 350. In this uh, last example we're gonna see how to use the pitch mode during descent. Currently I'm flying the cruising altitude at flight level 250 and I'm flying VNAV path pitch mode as shown here on my FMA. My top of the sand is coming up. Due to strong and forecast tailwind sensed by the IRS as shown here by the wind direction arrow on my navigation display, I have to start an earlier descent to correct the FMC calculated descent path. ATC has cleared me to start the descent to 9000 feet to obey this clearance. First, I will set my target altitude on the altitude display using the altitude select knob. 9000 feet set. Then I select descent page. Now I select descent now, then execute. Now the aircraft will start a descent with a constant rate of 1000 feet per minute. As you can see here, until it intercepts the vertical descent path computed by the FMC. On my navigation display, you can see here the vertical scale with its diamond magenta deviation pointer came up. And you can see that currently we are below the FMC computed vertical profile as the magenta diamond indicating. Now you can see here on my legs page, my vertical profile has a number of altitude constraints shown with a large fonts. ATC has instructed me for a direct descent to 3000 feet, which means that all the altitude constraints that are above 3000 are cancelled. First I will set 3000 on my altitude display. Now since I'm still away from the FMC top of descent point, and the FMC is performing its earlier descent management. This time I'm not gonna use the level change to bypass these altitude constraints as I show you earlier in climb phase. So I can simply use my CDO legs page to delete these constraints using the delete key. First I select delete, delete came up on the scratch pad. Now I click on the line select key Adjacent to altitude, I'm gonna delete. Here you go. I repeat this same action with the other altitude constraints, which are above 3000 feet. Then I push the execute key. And finally, the aircraft will fly the vertical descent path managed by the FMC all the way to the altitude cleared by the ATC. And that's uh, enough for today's video. In the next tutorial, I will cover the auto throttle modes and operations. If you want to watch this video, make sure to hit the notification bell to be notified when the video is available. Thank you for watching and see you there.